Hello guys, uh, today we are reviewing new model from Sigma that has been released this year in 2023. Uh, I think this is the first ever review of it on the internet. Maybe... Uh, <laughs> I think it's the first review of this model um, on YouTube, so I hope I will make it in time. <laughs> Speaking short, this is an unbelievably beautiful instrument that sounds great. Now let's move on. So, uh, why did I pick this instrument? I really, really love jumbo guitars. My first steel string guitar was an Epiphone EJ200. And naturally, once I started playing all solid guitars, I wanted an all solid jumbo. So I've been looking for an all solid jumbo for quite some time. I saw Epiphone Vine Custom on YouTube on the Fly Music channel. Unbelievably beautiful instrument that sounded great. I was waiting for its release for two years, and then I learned that it will never be released worldwide and it's only going to be available in China. So that's when I started looking for alternatives, and naturally I found Sigma Jumbos, and I was very skeptical about purchasing a laminated guitar for more than thousand dollars, but I decided to pull the trigger. I decided that paying 2000 for a China or solid jumbo is not worth it. And um, I really, really wanted a luxuriously beautiful instrument. So that's why I purchased it. Uh, and that's it. So speaking of specifications, uh, the top is solid spruce. I think they don't mention, I think it's Sitka. Um, the back and sides are laminated rosewood, beautiful veneer. We don't know what's in between, maybe probably mahogany. And uh, the neck is a three piece neck with mahogany, strip of, I think, walnut and mahogany. Uh, we don't have uh, heel joints, we don't have scarf joints, just three pieces. That's great. We have uh, micata fretboard and micata bridge. Synthetic material, that's a shame. I'd really prefer rosewood. However, if you check out Epiphones inspired by Gibson models, they use Indian laurel that looks horrible. I hate it. That's why I haven't purchased anything out of inspired by Gibson. They sound really good, but the looks are just awful. My old Epiphone's uh, rosewood fretboard is so much more beautiful that the, than this Indian Laura. But uh, never mind. We have uh, Grover tuning machines, 18 to 1, a rarity, Imperial buttons. We have uh, abalone inlays uh, all around the top, rosette and Fretboard. We have uh, bone saddle and bone nuts, elastic pins, and um, we have thick, beautiful, chamfered, no, it's not the word, I forgot what's the word, uh, beautiful pickguard that looks as good as Gibson pickguards or even better. And we have a Fishman Sonitone pickup that I haven't been using because I hate piezo pickups with a passion. Um, bridge pins are plastic. We also have a soft case uh, that comes with this guitar, but 
it's it's really good. I just don't I don't want to pull it in front of the camera. So speaking of construction, uh, the headstock is beautiful. The guitar looks much better in real life than on photos, probably than on any photos. Um, it's very tight, it's very clean, no imperfections whatsoever, however the joint, um, the place where the nut joins, um, what's the word, binding, it does look perfect. Um, <laughs> speaking of construction, the neck feels great, the frets are polished, seated well, they would probably need a little bit of uh, work because the guitar buzzes in some places than when where it shouldn't, especially considering the string height. But that's all right. Uh, Nut is a bit too high, but not mm, nothing horrible. Uh, the saddle is all right. I would prefer if the neck angle was slightly tilted backwards, so that we would have more saddle height uh, for the same string action. But nothing criminal. Uh, we also have uh, small string ramps. I would prefer that they were bigger, deeper. Um, big guard is extremely beautiful. I can't take my eyes off of it. I know that it dampens the sound due to its size and thickness, but it's so beautiful that it's worth it for me. The rosewood veneer is very beautiful. It has a slight purple hue to it and as I said I can't say anything good about the pickup because I haven't been using it and I hate Fishman uh, piezo pickups. Other Fishman pickups are good. I'm using a magnet plus microphone one. It's great. Speaking of the sound, it sounds really, really good. Maybe it sounds great for a solid top guitar. Uh, nothing extraordinary, it will not rival all solid guitars, but for solid top guitars, guitar, it's great. It has a rich, deep sound, nice bass, very good treble, much better than Epiphone EJ200, and it's it's quite responsive. Uh, I can say that in the first day when I got it, um, this guitar sounded as good or maybe slightly better than the old Epiphone that I've been having for over 12 years now, that has thicker strings and lighter tuning machines that improve its sound noticeably. So. This is definitely an improvement, an upgrade over the Epiphone Solid Top.
Now to conclude everything that I said, uh, my advice would be following. If you want to get uh, that, a guitar that sounds as good as possible, this is not your choice. For 11 or 1200 dollars, you can find innumerable amounts of um, better options. You can have also the Epiphones, also the Sigmas, you can have Eastmans, etc. and so forth. For a guitar with a solid top, it sounds great. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful jumbo, you will not find a jumbo that is as beautiful at this price point. Because um, it has abalone all over, it, all over it, and such guitars from some American manufacturers would cost, I don't know, five to seven thousand dollars. From Chinese manufacturers, it would cost, you will not find such a jumbo at such a price point. Period. I haven't. I, I've been studying this topic a lot. Um, so, even tone wise, I'd say it's an improvement over a solid top headphone that I've had for many years, and I enjoy this guitar greatly. It inspires me a lot with its beauty and its sound. I want to play it a lot. Uh, I don't really like the thick nut, but uh, it's manageable and I think I'll adapt. I really hope that Mikato will stop smelling so bad. Uh, it, the smell seems to go away, but slowly um, I, I hope it, it will go away for good. Okay, thank you for having me. Bye bye.